check, check, one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to give a sermon in a few hours, so I need you to listen up to give them a little of that church feedback. Paul Wolf. Yeah, just to be clear, I don't normally show up for an open mic quite this buttoned down, but I am a minister, and it's a work day. Can I get an amen? Amen! Can I also get my wine, which is right there. That's a good day, to which I say, Amen! You didn't have high C in the Bible. All right, this first song I'm going to do is... Um, the song I wrote, in which I somewhat um, audaciously, I guess, reimagined the end of The Wizard of Oz. The movie came out in 1939, so if you haven't seen it by now, I feel no guilt about spoiling the end. She gets home. But can't you just imagine Dorothy looking around and saying, it's great to be home, but it's black and white here. Where are the colors? I miss the colors. So this song is called Colors and Kansas. There's no place like home, she said, but she hadn't been there in a while. So when she woke at home in bed, I bet she had to force that smile. She met a man named Roy G. Bill, but now he's gone and she's gotta live in a world of black and white and gray. The yellow road fell miles away. She looked out the window, she rested her chin in her hand. And Toto did too. And they remembered a distant land And she said, why can't there be Colors in Kansas Why can't I see More than just these tones The problem's not with my own eyes For I've seen technicolor streets and skies Why can't there be Colors Right here at home This place I call home There's no place like Oz, he said This friend of mine who's been there too I can't forget those greens and reds And it feels like I dream in midnight blue This world is so drab and dim There's no place like Oz beside I can't forget though I've tried and tried We look out our windows and we stare as the night turns to day The end of the rainbow And all we got was a pot of gray And we say, why can't there be Colors in Kansas my own eyes, for I've seen technicolor streets and skies. Why can't there be colors right here at home? This dwelling place of your joys and pains. It's fun to ride in an air balloon, but we know we'll be back home quite soon. I want to walk through a red front door and dance on a deep brown hardwood floor. Maybe, just maybe, it doesn't take wizardry. Maybe, just maybe, there's reason 
the hope that it can be. I still believe there will be colors and kisses. I still believe I've seen more than just these tones. Somebody told me that my eyes are blue, and I remember that the sky is too. about which songs to sing. And after a while I thought, maybe it's this bar stool. I blame the bar stool. And I called it the bar stool of indecision. Whoa! And as soon as I got that phrase, it had to become a song. So this is Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna ask you to please listen. Oh dear. Paul Wolf's last song and talk later. Paul Wolf, one more time. Well, now I really hope I don't screw up. So this is uh, the bar stool of indecision. I took my seat on the bar stool of indecision. I sit there a lot like it's where I'm destined to be. Near the corner, over by the TV. Even the tumbleweeds look lonely. At least the tumbleweeds keep rolling, which is more than can be said about me. Which is more than can be said about me. Jackson tends bar, and Gretchen does too. And they ask for my order, and I don't have a clue. I just swivel on this stool, and I never move on. Till the folks were here when I got here, they're all long gone. I just sit here and I never move on. How many people go their whole lives without ever once being cut down to size? Well, it happened to me twice. In the space of six days, the first time it bled me, and the second time I was amazed. Cause she said, I see you, and I don't see grace. He said, I hear you, and I know it's just a phase. But oh, by that second time, baby, I was amazed. And I was put in my place. And I never left school. Instead, I turned around and I left on the train. No, I turned around and I wept all the way on the train. Oh, I wept the whole way on the train. Now I stare at my ceiling and the ceiling stares back and the walls they support it 
and they join the attack. And if I say I surrender and turn on my side, then the floor rises up. And there's nowhere to hide. Nowhere to run. Near the corner, over by the TV. It kinda haunts me, is this really where I'm destined to be? Any chance you might pull up on the stool next to me? Near the corner, over by the TV. Near the corner, over by the TV.